mind. How do you like the food? I love the food. <laughs> Wait till I finish the question. <laughs> <laughs> Heavyweights is a great movie, guys. If you aren't watching Real Hazardous, you need to watch that. Well, that's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you tell them what we're talking about today? All right, Real Hazardous coming at you. Today we're going diving, which is a lot of fun. First dive trip of 2018, so we're excited. Water's warmed up. We think the fish are out there. We got good reports of clear water, which is always a good thing. So yeah, we're going. We get out there, um, check out a few spots, end up going to a spot we like called MG Tug. Old Tug, broken up wreck. But that's good, we like the broken up wreck. We didn't actually go to MG Tug. We went to uh, M.E. Gus. <laughs> M.E. Gus? Yeah, M.E. Gus, that spot. Don't go to M.G. Tug, go to M.E. Gus. Things that we I know, but you can't tell them where we're going. They'll go there. <laughs> right? I think it's too late. <laughs> Sorry. Our fans can know where we went. And since if you're watching this, you're obviously a fan. That's for you. So anyways, we're at our spot. We go down and um, we start, start looking around. Uh, it's a little tinted green, but it's not too bad of it, really. I mean, we start circling it, and at first, like, I'm not seeing any fish, I'm like, dang. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing fish. I'm not seeing any fish we want to shoot. Right, just trash fish. Yeah. And Goliath groupers. Yeah, we've seen three of them guys. I've never seen, I've seen one at that wreck. One of them, I was, I was saying, when I seen that thing, I seen Christopher, I seen the Goliath, and that Goliath looked every bit as long as Christopher, plus, you know, you know, it's fatter. fatter. I mean, this is a huge fish. We made one full pass, and what I've noticed when we're trying to look for flounder stuff is that if they're not immediately around there, they do tend to try and drift off into the uh, softer sand type bottom. So we kind of took a wider loop around and started picking up on some flounder on the bottom. Yeah, finally he stuck one. I'm like, thank goodness, slip something here. And when he stuck them, it was pretty cool. He's really good at seeing them. He would be like, uh, oh. he'd start pointing them. It's like, oh yeah. So I'd stick them. We gotta be all tactical. I <laughs> well, all right, we got some fish. You know, all of a sudden, he sees another one. He shoots one and points to another one. So, stick that one. Yeah, he found a pretty big one there. You no, know, at one point we were coming up on some mm -hmm. piece of the wreck. It was actually it looked like a part of the wreck, so I was surprised the flounder was on it. And I got that one, and I look over, and you're uh, wrangling a big heaping one. Yeah, yeah. We we started to just find him good at that point. I looked over, he was on shooting one. I'm like. Dang, that's a big flounder. I was excited. I stuck it. We weighed it later. It was four and a half pounds. Yeah, he, he was brave. If I'd have seen five one. And a quarter. If I'd have seen one that big, I probably would have just pulled the trigger. Usually we stab, <laughs> but when you see a monster like that, I don't want to take any chances. Right. I'm excited. One day we're going to be out there. We're going to see just a huge doormat. It's going to be like 10 pounds. And we're going to freak out. And we're both going to shoot it. Yeah, it's going to look like a rug or something. It's going to be like halibut. Uh, it's, that's the exciting thing about fishing, you know. You know the big ones are out there, and every day you're just wondering if that'll be the thing you find. It's like Bigfoot. Right, it's like Bigfoot. I ain't found them yet, but... I ain't even seen them yet. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know one day when you're hunting, you're either going to see a huge buck or Bigfoot. And either way... It's a good day. If you don't shoot it, no one's going to believe you. <laughs> Not that we necessarily advocate shooting Bigfoot, I'm just saying. We don't disadvocate it either. <laughs> if he's if he's aggressive, that's, that's totally totally different story. We would die. So anyway, 
Uh, we'll get some flounder. Mm -hmm. uh, and just before we wrap up, and I'm looking, I see a knife on the bottom. And you know, it's always nice to leave the ocean a little cleaner than you found it. So it looked like a fillet knife. I'm like, okay, well, I'll grab this. So we can use it for filleting our fish or whatever. So I show it to Jeremy. He's like, he's, he's signaling something. So I'm like, you're welcome. And so we go through the dive and we go up and kind of showing off our fish at our safety stop. But we get up to the boat and Jeremy's like, that's our knife. We lost that here last week. Yeah. I mean, we, we weren't even dying. We were fishing. We don't even know when we lost it. Dad was like, where's that knife going? And I'm like, oh man, he's like, we're like, man, it must have fallen over cutting pogies. And we think it fell over then. So I'm amazed that it fell over, like, cause we, were, we weren't even right by it. We were trolling around it. It just right. didn't happen to land. It just so happened it fell off at Emmy Gus. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. That was our knife we lost. not in its sheath. Again, he's lost it some other times too. Right. You uh, regular viewers probably know this already. It's my lucky knife because I keep losing it and finding it. Like literally, we lost it in the keys just over this bottom, not like a wreck or not, just some good bottom. And we'd gone home and some of our friends went down and said, hey, if you guys fish any, you know, any of the lobster spots and see my knife, let me know. And a couple days later, I get a text that says, is this your knife? Yes. And I was like, I also lost some gold. So if you say that, let me know, because you're on a roll. So anyway, yeah, he realized he lost his knife and I'm kind of like, well, he had a good run with it. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, we need to go after some flounder, but um, as uh, Providence would have it, we got our anchor stuck. Right. And so we had to go down with uh, what was left in our tanks. So we went down and he said he would uh, dislodge the anchor. I'm like, well, I'll take a quick perusal for your knife. And mm -hmm. he's like, yeah, okay, whatever. And so on our way down, I saw this little glinty thing. So I went down and saw it, picked it up, and brought it up to him, like, here you go. Don't lose it this time. Mm -hmm. And so we went back up and uh, he still got his lucky knife until he loses it again. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow, who knows. So, uh, finish up that dive, mm -hmm. get our flounder, anchor, and our knives. Because money can't buy knives. And so we head to our next spot. A spot we've done before, we really like it. Some culverts, because flounder love those kind of culverts. And we started on our dive. Yep. The cool thing was, as soon as we started on this dive, Red Snapper came up and followed us down. I mean, they came up, we were like 10, 15 feet. Yeah, the infamous endangered Red Snapper. Right. So many of them. We go down, we start shooting flounder, and these red snapper, they're just like following us. I guess they smell the blood. We got like yeah, they're just, they're just curious. They're the most fans we've ever had follow right. us around. And it's a good fan to have, you know. Just, I mean, big snapper, you know, just, I mean, we could have shot them easy. So, and that's the exciting thing, is they are opening up red snapper. So, you know, we're pretty excited. We go around there, uh, find an anchor. It's our day for finding stuff. Yep. That's yeah, true, you find, found everything, <laughs> even the fish. Eventually I'm gonna find treasure, and when I do that, you won't see me here anymore. Right. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Quitting's not an option. So we're going around just seeing red snappers, pretty cool. They followed us back up. I mean, it just is exciting to see. They're, they're daring us. Yeah, so they're coming up and just you know catching them, fishing, trolling. Uh, shot a bunch more flounder, so that was a lot of fun. You know, just kind of stabbed them. Yeah. You know, they're tough to see, and that's part of the exciting thing. Between the two of us, we got our we finished up our limit on that spot. Yeah. Had some bad years of, of flounder fishing, so it's nice when you get a good day catch up. Indeed. So it was a fun trip. Yeah. 
And you know, our dad's up on the boat and uh, managing the boat. He they got a part of kingfish. Yeah, catching catching some kingfish. So you know, get down in the water, have a lot of fun. We've got dinner on the table and a strategy for this upcoming snapper season. Right. Anything else you want to add there, Christopher? Uh, no, just remember um, we're at EM Gus and Pontusan. Those are the two places we were at this this week. Yes. Yes. So, um, thanks for watching the videos. We got a bunch more coming up. Like, subscribe. Find us on Instagram too. We got a lot of subscribers on YouTube. Not a lot of y'all follow me on Instagram or Facebook. So check out our page there. We do some other cool stuff. And if you want one of these cool shirts, realhazardous.com. Got some bumper stickers too. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm proud, boys and girls. Okay. We'll see y'all next time.